Which colors get the best bite out of flathead, particularly big flathead? On today's video, we're gonna be studying how big flathead react to so many different colors. So stick around. And away it goes. There's a little flatty. Just, just hanging a bit, doing flatty things. All right, well, I found one and it must be nice if this thing responded. There we go. Oh, and it's off again. This is your captain speaking. We've got uh, clear waters and uh, certainly on a mission, this one is, that's for sure. Is that the spot or is that the spot? Ah, that must be the spot right there. Look at that, ah, gone, gone. Where did it even go? <laughs> the beauty is, is that it's always when the battery's low that these things tend to reveal themselves. Literally, first cast, return to home. Critical battery level. That is so cool. Hello, what's today's meeting about? I bet your performance is terrible. Hello, having not realized what happened, watch the whiting at the top. As it flickers, bang, this flatty has a big old charge at it. There we go. Still spat it. So it's it's really shallow either side of me right now. So I've just got to make sure that um, I don't drift into any of that. Right. Let's see. Uh, See if I can do this. This is going to be tricky. <sighs> Main thing is going to be tricky about the stingrays. It's just so windy. I can't feel it bites, bruh. Oh, there's another flathead literally right there. Gotcha, princess. What a what a challenge this has been. Finally, it's not a monster flatty, but it will do. Oh, yes. She's, this has still got a lot of beans in it. Quick catch and release. Let's have another quick little squiz before the um, sun is completely gone. Well, that was very nice of that fish to pop in like that. So, well, on this random Tuesday, 
I've got a fair few colours of these seven inch bank eh, of these seven inch bait junkies to work with. I don't know what to use. So I guess I just have to use them all. So what the goal is is to find out what flathead really like, particularly big flathead. The colour I've decided to use today called Pinky Snapper Glow and look at that big sparkle and big sparkles in there. That looks awesome. I've already got one on pearl, but that was, you know, a given. We all know that pearl was gonna work. Okay, let's get the bird up. Take off. No way, look at this. A big school of queenfish hunting, oh sorry, queenfish hunting these mullet. Bruh. Well, that's the perfect uh, lure for this exact situation. Oh, that is sick. That is sick. Yeah, he is out of here pretty quickly though. Yeah, let's get back to what I was doing. Too many casts and it's spooked. There is another flatty here, but I just don't know if it's that same one or not. There's another one just there, just there. There it is. Who loosened this drag so much? Beautiful. See, that flatty was interested. First cast. Oh, beautiful. All right, get all your beans out. There we go. That's good. Very good. I'm happy that I finally got a flatty. Oh, that's good. Got that monkey off the back already for today. Yeah, that um, snapper pink. Beautiful color. Well, that was good. That was very good. Got that flatty, that other flatty though. Certainly, it saw the lure too much and it figured out what was up and then as soon as the lure landed on its head, it was like, nah, I'm out of here. So that's the problem. You can actually cast too much of these fish and they will learn because they are smart, they're predators. They literally all they do is just watch and study. So if, if they think something is suspicious, They'll obviously react in a megabit. They'll react in a megabyte way. Oh my goodness, the tism is hard today. I think that there is, is some other places that would be prime right now. So let's head on over there. Well, the snapper pink has graduated. So I'm gonna chuck on something else now. Now, because these lures, this is, these are seven inch. Those flatties make them look pretty small. I'd even go bigger, honestly. Maybe six o hook. That hook had no problem holding. That's one good thing with using single hooks compared to treble hooks. When you're using trebles, using all that force to set the hook, the force has to go into at least more than one hook. Whereas with single hooks, when you set the hook, the force is all going through one hook. Let's try something ridiculous. I've pulled up, there's a nice little sheltered area over here. The wind's a bit calmer today. There's usually a lot of animals that are up around this particular area here. Don't know exactly why, but I like to look at them. Oh my word, there is a giant flatty cruising up here this is a big girl look at how cool they look their fins are just so beautiful ah look at her go you're like why did she just spook what 
could she just speak? She's in such shallow water right now. That is incredible. That is incredible. Oh, no, she is immediately not interested. Oh, she was almost interested. Yeah, well, I think that uh, I'll just leave that one be. Let's go have a look around, see what else I can find. That looks like a big shovel nose, but I'm, yeah, that's a big shovel nose. Yeah, look how cool they look. So majestic. That's either a perfect flatty mark or... A... No, that's a real one. That is a real one. Oh, she's properly on the move. Hey, yeah. Um, what was I saying? Yeah, it's always when there's about a foot in the uh, foot of water or so. Oh, she's she's burying herself. Oof. Oh my goodness. I wonder. If, nah, surely not. This can't be the last one. No way. There's no way it would have swum around that fast. All oh, right. You know what they say, it's nerf or nothing. The further away I am, the better. And I'm kind of hoping that the current is gonna do all the work for me here. Okay, good thing is, hey, I'm not trying to catch you, buddy. <laughs> Oi, <laughs> bit of bycatch, bruh. <laughs> well, that's a good sign. <laughs> oh dear, this is not a bad flatty. There we go, thank you. Literally on the nose, literally gotta be. <laughs> okay, I see how it is. She's seen the lure too much. There are days where they just don't wanna eat. Could also be the time of the day too, now that I think about it. The tide is dropping and there are a few spots where I know the fish will now be congregating. So I think we might go have a little look. There we go. Find the bait and you will find the fish. I always like to look in these big schools of whiting because quite often you'll find there is a flatty in there somewhere. Oh, that is a massive flatty mark. Oh boy. Look at the brim. They are huge brim. That's amazing. Yep, we got a flatty and a stingy ray. And the flatty hung back. My goodness, it is hard to see right now. Oh! Damn, just as I went to press the button, this flathead had like a full-on strike at a whiting. That was crazy. Like, it went hard for it. So I know this is a very, a very aggressive fish. He's got his head up. Might be able to hear me. They are Pretty cluey like that. Look at him go. It's right there. He's right there still. Got it. <laughs> I saw him hit it. Got it. Oh, how sick is that? How sick was that? I watched that fish. Don't even have any polarizers on. You kind sir have been a very aggressive fish today. Look at you, I thought you were a bit smaller than that. Or get that out. Get that out for you, hey? Well, how nice of you to join me this splendid afternoon. 
The wind is a little bit up, but it's not crazy. But the good thing is, just over here, there is a crazy shower. But the good thing is, it's also going around me. So, obviously, there's something going on with the air pressure at the moment where, uh, I don't know, something's, something's going on in the atmosphere. So, I've been thinking about this morning, like I usually do, and I think that uh, probably one of my letdowns is the leader I'm using. This is like 40 pound or something ridiculous like that. It's because it was for like barra and stuff like that, and I haven't changed it. Found one. Oh, it's deeper than I expected. Isn't this just like the most challenging uh, conditions for a flatty fish, hey? Oh, there's two big ones there. There are two big ones there. Look at that. They saw that and they looked. Oh, 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 oh. No, you don't. No, you don't. Okay, maybe if I let it sit, because it did. I really didn't want to hook it off uh, off camera. Man, they are aggressive though. Oh, that one's uh, certainly not as big as what I thought it was. Well, this is where the shenanigans certainly are right now. So it's only a matter of time until something rocks up and wants to have a go at these. Well, I'll be, huh? Bit of a identity crisis going on here. Just so you know, that's not a whiting. That's a, a flatty cruising with the whiting. <laughs> Unbelievable. They're too big for it and they know it. Yeah, no, that's definitely a flatty there. Interesting. That wind has dropped off considerably. Ooh, yep, that's uh, desired. Yeah, it's not a big flathead. Oh, that, that one is. Come on, take it. I didn't see that other one. <laughs> Lewis squizzle past. He had a hit. Wasn't. Oh, another hit. Not getting the hook. It's too small. All right, we'll try that again. Not motivated, apparently. I'm gonna try something really different. Orange, I've never used orange before. I am just gonna try it today now. Cause the flatties are interested, they're just not committing. Well, look at that. It's a convention. And I'm just gonna invite myself over there. That one on the left is a big one. Find out if the, the big, big girls like orange, I guess. That landed on basically same spot. Oh, she responded positively. Well, I'll be, huh? Maybe the big ones like orange. Wind got it. That was just behind her too. Just behind her. Oh no, she's seen the lure happen like she's suspicious. Too many casts, literally. Max three casts, every time. Oh, it's a big stingray. That kind of scared me for a second. <sighs> okay, that's gotta be the one. 
Look at the size of that stingray. Come on, drift down, drift down, drift down. Wow, really? Really? This is gonna be a very interesting cast. Is that one there? Yep. Oh, it's bearing itself too. They're gonna to get competitive now. Watch this. <laughs> Ready? <laughs> Damn it. So I got it, but I just didn't find the hook. Well, there is another flatty up here. Oh, I did skip it. I don't know if I got that strike on the camera, but uh, I don't care, I got the fish. What are we working with? Oh, this is a big, this is a good size one. But the crazy thing is in comparison to the other ones. Oh, there you go. Chill out, chill out, chill out, chill out. How many rejections did it take for me to finally find the one? Oh, I mean, um, that, that flathead too. All right, I'm not gonna harass these flathead anymore. I think they're a little bit too edumacated and they're not going to be, you know. Well, the paddle tail seems to be working, but I think that's cause also the sink rate. It's a natural slow sink with that tail. Is that a turtle or a... I'll get a hook set up that work for those, uh, for those um, jerk baits, those jerk, whatever, the long ones. Anyway, I will figure out some kind of hook to make them, make sure they fall super slowly. Anyway, it is a very nice afternoon. It is quite nice. Uh, some kind of uh, breeding shenanigans going on right there with uh, those emperor things. My goodness. Wow. I wonder what they would do to a surface lure if it just so happened to whiz by its, their faces. All right, I gotta land that drone. You really need to make sure that you enjoy these moments because when you look back at them, they truly are the best thing that happened. No, but seriously, this is uh, an absolute addiction. I've been out here practically all day and I can't stop thinking about coming out again tomorrow. Basically never. Make sure you like and subscribe. I'll help you out. It's right here. Make sure you hit that. <laughs>